Hello, welcome to the Wolf's Lair. This is Fenris, showcasing painted axes and allies pieces. This video will be dealing with customizations. The dice tray is made of wood and is clad in green filled which mutes the dice when rolling. I designed the drinking mats at Arts Cow. High quality material and washable. This strange thing is used for counting the rounds, as certain political aspects come into play after 3 or 4 turns. It is also useful if one has certain house rules. The dial is a turning knob which I got from an old audio mixer. Paper money was bought from historical board gaming. This site is worth visiting if you need something to physical represent IPC, but also extra units or game markers. In fact, the website is highly recommended, as they have fair prices and really, and I mean really, excellent customer service. As seen in the other videos, I have made some crappy plane racks. They consists of nails that has been lodged into lead balls, as used for sinking fishing lines when you are, well, fishing. The nails are made of iron and sticks well with the magnetized planes. The national objectives cards is super helpful, especially for new players, like me. Visit Arts Cow, a site that lets you make your own cards. There are many versions available at the Axis and Allies forum. I designed some rather plain and minimalish cards. They are not fancy, but didn't take long time to design, and does the job. The battle board I got from Axis and Allies forum, printed it on plain paper and glues it to a wooden board. I did the same thing with the income tracker and national objectives. Sometimes, it is nice to be remembered of which objectives the other nations have, as you surely want to sabotage them. The orange chips is a stack of playing chips from historical board gaming. They are used as a combat markers, are higgly visible, and helps you to remember which battles you want to execute. Lastly, we have the unit markers. I have designed them to match my terrain board. Six of them are used for naval units. You are meant to place the stack of chips with the unit on top, at any place on the map. They represent whatever units are placed on the bigger roundel. The ocean floor is basically sand that has been glued to the roundel, painted blue and then dry brushed with a lighter blue color and or white. The water is a clear as in, much like ordinary paint only without color pigment. The markers meant for land have grass and some shrubs on top and two of them have small ponds of water. I am in the process of making my own dice. This idea I got from Sired Blood, and I will probably put up a short video when they are finished. In addition to all these things, I have made sure to have a decent number of grey, green and red chips, as the game comes with way too few. The opportunity for customizations within Axis and Allies are virtually endless. Personally I enjoy having physical versions of money, national objectives and so on. Anything that can help speed up the game a bit is always welcome. Please visit Axis and Allies forum for more ideas, and remember that if there is something that you cannot find but want or need, you can always make it yourself. The process can be quite rewarding, and it doesn't have to look perfect, as I have thoroughly demonstrated today.